Hello, Boundless Universe. This is Sulphur Blade, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I've been noticing that a few streamers, um, many streamers, if, if you're one of the streamers who's watching this and you think I'm singling you out, I'm not singling anyone out, but there seems to be some confusion commonly whenever people get up to the point of using a furnace. So there's many different types of furnaces. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm standing in front of a titanium furnace. Uh, the difference between the furnaces is you start off with a stone furnace, and then you move on to an iron furnace, and finally, in end game, you're going to be using a titanium furnace. Uh, basically, each furnace is a bit faster and more efficient with the fuel you're using. Thus, you'll want to eventually move up when you can. Now, how do you use that furnace to make these wonderful bars? Copper bars, iron bars, whatever bars that you need to progress. Well, first, you gotta go mine some base ore, like copper or iron. I just happen to have some right here in my hand. <clears throat> and so then I put it down here, and it says, uh, t in order to craft an iron bar, it uses 38 heat. Well, that's because I'm using a titanium furnace. A titanium furnace is far more efficient on heat. If this was a stone furnace, it would probably say, I don't know, like 150 heat or something along those, that line of, of thought. <coughs> so now, um, different materials give different amounts of heat. So you can dig soil called PD soil, and you can put it into the output as fuel. And you see it has a 0.2 speed boast, and it, and it uh, 19 of these is 380 heat. So with 19 of these, I could generate enough heat to make 10 iron bars with the titanium furnace. If we were using a stone furnace, you'd probably only be able to make 2 uh, iron bars with the same amount of PD soil. And again... It's going to take 1 minute and 15 seconds because of the speed boost that PD soil gives. It's not a very fast fuel. You can also use wood trunks, which gives a 0.4 speed boost. We see that 9 wood trunks provides 270 heat. So this could get us, you know, uh, a certain number of iron bars if you want to do the math. Then we could also put in timber. Timber gives us a 0.5 speed boost, and because I have 86 timber here, it's going to generate 1,290 heat. Now, PD soil isn't used for much, um, so you can use it for fuel, and no big worries, because it's just PD soil. What else are you going to use the PD soil for? Um, there's not a whole lot of uses for it, other than as really cheap fuel. However, wood, wood has, has all kinds of uses. And I implore you to not, please don't use wood as fuel in a furnace. There's so many better uses for wood. You could just sell it to people and they will gladly probably trade you coal uh, in exchange for your wood. And you would have more coal that would uh, give you more fuel by just doing a trade. Um, Wood is not an efficient source of fuel. Uh, in the early game, sometimes it's the only thing you have, and you end up using it, and that's fine. But once you can get away from using wood, and please do so as soon as you can, because wasting wood in a furnace is just horrible. Okay, I also have soft coal here, which brings us up to a one-time speed boost, and provides uh, pretty much 1,000... 1,000 heat per piece. So that's quite a bit. If you just mine up one piece of soft coal lying on the ground somewhere, excuse me, you're going to have 100 heat, which is, you know, pound for pound, way better than a piece of dirt. And compared to a trunk, you know, it's way better than a trunk. So coal, coal is your fuel of choice. 
And coal's not actually that hard to find. It's 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 all over the place, even on starter planets. Um, then there's medium coal, which you're not going to see much on a starter planet. Obviously, this is on a more uh, a more uh, higher tier planet. And as you can see, it's got a higher speed boost, and it gives more per one piece by a factor of uh, quite a bit. So uh, the one soft coal was 100, one medium coal is 250. Then we have hard coal. Hard coal is is the best the best non-compacted fuel you can get. And that gives 800 for just one piece of hard coal and speeds things up by the factor of 2.6. That's pretty impressive, right? Well, there's also compacted fuels. There's compacted peat, which I haven't made any to show in this. I wish I would have. There's compacted soft coal. There's compacted medium coal. And there's compacted hard coal. Those are the four types of compacted fuels you can use. Compacted peat, I think, is generally about the same as soft coal, maybe a little bit better. But compacted uh, peat is really a, a really good fuel source. So if you dig up a bunch of peaty soil and you throw it into a compactor and turn it turn it into compact peaty soil, it's a very affordable, cheap, solid fuel source uh, that's easy to accumulate. But I have some compact medium coal sitting here, so. I'll just toss that in and show you what it does. Maybe I should just, just put one piece. So one piece is 4,500 uh, coal. Compared, comparing that to the one piece of hard coal, that's a huge jump up, isn't it? Yes, it is. So whenever you can manage to get yourself a set of uh, compactor power coils, which I'll close out of this to show you what those are. That's these red do jobs down here next to the compactor. These things are needed in order to compact. We'll go to the recipes. So to compact peat, uh, you can do that without having power coils. And so compacting peat can be done without power coils. But as soon as you move up to soft coal, you need at least 500 power, which is five of those power coils to generate that, because each power coil is 100. But I have way more than five, I have 24 of them. Because as you go up to compact uh, medium or normal coal, it takes a thousand power. And then to compact hard coal requires 2,000 power. Now the last thing I want to show here real quick, um, and hopefully I can do this uh, fairly rapidly, is some people might be having uh, difficulties just building the furnace, uh, period. Because building the furnace requires this stuff called flint. Flint is uh, I'm going to go to one of the new planets because hopefully it'll be easier to find what I'm going to use to show people. But flint is rather easy to find if you know where to look. Yes, you can dig up gravel, and yes, you can break some stone, and you will eventually, if you dig enough and break enough blocks, you will get some flint drops. Um, but one of the easiest ways to get flint is to find these stones in the ground, right? So these stones are all over the place on every planet. Walk up to one, whack it, and there's flint. And that is by far the easiest way to get flint. So if you're having problems finding flint to make that initial furnace, that's how to do it. And so now I think I've covered furnaces, how to smelt stuff, what kinds of fuel can be used, and where to find flint to make your furnace. Uh, there's not really anything more to this particular topic, so let's, I'm going to try to keep my video short. I have issues with that. But anyway, Boundless Universe, you have a great day, and peace.